Mr. Blake here for Discipleship 24-7. We're switching gears this September, and we're going to talk about prayer. And it's so important that we look at prayer. What is prayer? This September, September 25th, Wednesday, students have an event called See You at the Pole, where students gather around the flagpole on their campus to share their thoughts, their concerns, their prayer requests to God. And this all started in 1990. Uh, a simple act of uh, students wanted to gather together, turn to God, and have their peers, their generation be, uh, if you will, be open to the idea of having God in, as a relationship, having Christ in their life. And that started with prayer. In 1990, students gather at a flagpole. And today, hundreds of students gather around flagpoles across the nation before campus, before school, to do the same, pray. And I think it's so important that we, as adults, help our youth, help our students, help our kids uh, understand, first of all, we should be talking about prayer. We should see what the Bible says about prayer. And we should look at the study and characteristics of, of prayer itself. And that's where we're switching gears here at Discipleship 24-7. We're going to be looking at prayer before See You at the Pole event starts. Now, just to rewind, See You at the Pole is, is a student event, student moment where they gather around the pole uh, before school, praying for their school, praying for their campuses, praying for family, for friends, and just praying for the community in general. And it's a day that is commit committed across the nation. Other schools across the nation will be doing the same. And that is to have unity, that is to have Christ on campus, the light of Christ shed on campus, and 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 just to really have the invitation open that for those who do not know Jesus, can hear about Jesus and, and just be invited to know more about Jesus. In fact, the, the week, days before See You at the Pole, uh, the website also shares with us there is a prayer walk that's happening on September 23rd through the 30th. And that is where students walk around their campus just praying, lifting peers up, classes up, and just really praying for one another. And that kind of reminds me of that scene in the movie Facing the Giants where there is a, uh, a teacher just walking by lockers and, and carrying his Bible where he's just praying for students, praying for everyone on campus that they would be opened to the invitation of, of, of Christ in their life. And so this is where we're going to be looking at prayer for September. So I hope you're able to join me on Sundays in September and you know bring your Bible and notepad as we look at prayer itself you know we look at what are some tools to have for when we pray what are some resources that we can have for prayer and this is just a really interesting way for us as adults to uh, help out our youth and be encouragement I'll have more on on this as we get closer to see you at the poll on Wednesday September 25th I'll have more uh, information more tools more tips more uh, things that we could look at to really help and encourage our youth and young adults about prayer on their campus again it's a huge thing you know on campus happening all over the nation on campuses and and it's really just so important just to understand and also just to let them know, let students know that we're praying for them. Let our youth and kids know that we're praying for them and then that, that this event can, can be an opportunity, open door, right, to shine the light of Christ. So join me Sundays in September as we look the ins and outs of prayer. Amen. Discipleship 24-7. Mr. Blake, have a blessed day, blessed week, and we'll see you next time. And I hope everyone is having an amazing week so far.
Awesome.